Hello, welcome to EverydayHDR.com. My name is Blake Rudis, and today I'm going to talk about the clone stamp tool. Now, you may be thinking, dude, I know how to use a clone stamp tool. This is Photoshop 101. You're right, you may know how to use a clone stamp tool, and uh, so do I, but I still get complacent with the clone stamp tool. So I'm here today to talk to you about the proper usage of the clone stamp tool so you don't make a recent mistake like I did on one of my past images. I'm also going to show you some really cool tips and tricks with the clone stamp tool, so you might want to stick around and watch this in case you think you know just about everything about the clone stamp tool. All right, so what I don't like about this picture, what takes it, what takes the whole picture away from me, uh, the the whole atmosphere and environment of this picture, this old school tractor just broke down on the side of the of the farm here, is that water tower in the background. It just it distracts from the whole image, in my opinion. So I'm going to get rid of it. And how I'm going to do that is clone stamp it. So I'm going to press Command and Spacebar and then drag on in, or Control and Spacebar. I'm a PC guy. Command and Spacebar for Mac people. All right. Zoom right on in there. And look at this water tower. And you're thinking, man, that's going to be kind of crazy to clone stamp out. Even doing like a refined edge and trying to get into there not going to work out. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to use a clone stamp tool. And you're going to have to use it very cleverly to pick out areas from, from around uh, the other parts of the image and not directly from here. If I just do this, um, this is Clone Stamp Tool 101. I'm going to grab right here, press the Alt key, and say I want to sample right here. So now everything I, I use is going to be sampled from right there. If I just do this, what I'm doing is creating patterns in here that, while you may not see it uh, right away, when you take a little bit of look at this image, you'll start to see it even more, and it's not cool. So you can get more meticulous with the clone stamp tool and that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. First of all, another clone stamp tool 101, don't work directly on the layer. If you work directly on the layer, it's called destructive, destructive editing and anything you do to that photograph afterwards and if say you want to go back and fix the clone stamping, you're going to be, uh, what's the nice way to say this? SOL, okay? So open up a new layer by clicking on that little new layer icon there and up when you have your clone stamp tool, make sure you have uh, sample all layers. So if there's a ton of layers down here and I open up a new layer, it'll sample everything below it. So when I press that Alt button, it'll select everything that's below there to help me clone stamp that area out. So what I'm going to do is I want to get rid of this stem first. So let me go ahead and get rid of that stem. I'm going to grab right about here and then just kind of just paint in with that clone stamp tool. Just really kind of grab that area all around it. Okay. So I got rid of the stem, but it still looks a little, um, I don't know, quirky, I guess. Because I got that big old bulb there coming from the water tower. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab from this area, because it looks like a busy area that could match this area pretty well. And I think I'm losing that whole branch. And you're right, I am losing that whole branch, but I'm going to go back to that. Now, I always readdress and just press the Alt button every once in a while, sample a different area so that I don't always get the same thing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another new layer. When I make this other new layer, I'm going to sample from right here, just right here, and bring this right on down to kind of finish off that branch. Now, you're thinking, that's really dark right there. Well, there's a reason why I sampled a new layer. What I'm going to do is go and do a levels adjustment and press the Alt key under that levels adjustment. So anything I do to this levels adjustment will only happen to what I just clone stamped. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the light area of that levels adjustment and move it down. Start to see how that black area that was there starts to disappear. I'm going to do a preview for you. Take it off. It's really dark. Now when we zoom out, you can see that dark spot. Let's hit that levels button. Now you don't see that dark spot. So you thought you knew the clone stamp tool? That's a pretty cool trick, right? We're going to do it again. So this is what I wanted to show you. If you look at this picture, you're thinking, wow, that's a pretty great picture of a barn, right, Blake? Sure, it is, until you look a little closer right here and you see that I did a horrible, horrible clone stamp job. And you know, I even posted this on something like Google+, a couple other places, and I didn't even think of how horrible that clone stamp spot was. Now let me zoom out and I'll show you again. Now you see it, don't you? You didn't see it before, but now it's like, boom. You did a horrible job, like with clone stamp tool. And the reason why? I got complacent. I thought, Psh, I know this stuff, whatever, nobody will notice. Well, I noticed, and I kicked myself in the butt. So as long as you kick yourself in the butt after you notice something like that, it's all good. It's all good, even in the social media world. All right, so I'm going to zoom in real quick on this by pressing that Control and uh, Spacebar or Command and 
spacebar for Mac heads. So I'm going to sample some areas from over here and put it over here. All right. First thing, clone stamp 101, make a new layer. It's still got the uh, the old stamp there from the other image. Isn't that pretty cool? All right, so let's go ahead and click. So this tree is getting kind of covered up and lost right there. So I'm going to go ahead and select an area that looks similar to that tree, like maybe this one, and start painting in with that clone stamp tool. And again, you're thinking, man, that area is really dark over there that you're covering that up with. What are you thinking, Lincoln? And you'll see, again, with that lever levels trick that I showed you earlier, it's a very awesome trick to use with your clone stamp tool. Don't select too many areas with one clone stamp. Readdress often. If you readdress often, you'll it'll blend a lot better and people won't be able to tell. If they see repetitive patterns, repetitive patterns are a bad thing, all right? So don't have any repetitive patterns. Um, and feel free to kind of make up your own little area here. You know, these trees didn't exist over here until I started making them exist from these trees over here. And then break it up a little bit. So grab an area from over here and then just kind of hit a little spot right there to break it up so that this area doesn't look exactly like that area okay now I've got three lines here that are all very uh, they look like they were placed there with the clone stamp tool so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that just by sampling a different area from over here maybe maybe right here and just break that up a little bit alright I'm not gonna select that really black area that doesn't look very good right so this is a much better clone stamp than what we started with alright if you look at the before, now look at the after. It looks much better. Now, it doesn't really fit, though. It's really dark. When I zoom out like that, it's really dark. So again, I'm going to do the levels adjustment. Hit Alt, or sorry, I didn't say it before. Option for you Mac heads, and click in between that layer and levels. I, I have nothing against Mac people. I don't want you to think I do. It's just it's kind of fun to say that. Um, all right. So now I can modify the, uh, the mid-tones of that area and start to see how now it's starting to blend in it's starting to match so yeah you might have known the clone stamp tool but do you know the clone stamp tool just a little bit better now all right that's what I like to hear all right so I'm Blake with everydayhdr.com I highly suggest you go to the website and uh, frequent it often because tips and tricks like this will be coming uh, very frequently if uh, you're a subscriber already to either YouTube or Everyday HDR, you know that this stuff uh, I update this stuff weekly. Uh, I'm moving to a twice a week uh, posting here instead of three times a week, but that's so I can make better content. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial because the clone stamp tool uh, can be uh, very easy to pick out if you don't do it correctly. Have a great weekend, everyone, and please frequent everydayhdr.com.